So the NFL draft is over, and most of you have already done your Dynasty League rookie drafts, and you are still looking for talent. You want to add talent via the waiver wire. I'm going to talk about some great undrafted rookies that you should consider adding to your roster for the upcoming season, and you just slide these young men in your taxi squad and keep it pushing to the 2022 season. Let's get right into it. Welcome to the Blown Coverage Fantasy Football Podcast with Waiver Wire Queen. All right, y'all, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you play fantasy football so you can stay ahead of your competition because we'll continue to provide great content to help you prepare for the upcoming season. Make sure your notifications are turned on. We're going to have all the content you need to help you gain that competitive edge so you can beat your opponent and obviously win your league. Let's get right into this list. So I have a few rookies that went undrafted. Obviously, every year after the NFL, after the NFL draft, there are players who are undrafted. Prior to the draft, you know, we say, hey, this guy has some upside. Um, this is a player to target late in your draft. And we don't draft them in our draft because, hell, they didn't get drafted in the draft that they should have been drafted in. So you look on waivers and you are trying to identify players to add to your roster in your taxi spot. Let's talk about Carson Strong, quarterback who signed with the Philadelphia Eagles and they gave him $300,000 in, in guarantees, which is tremendous. They have Jalen Hurts, but honestly, I feel like from an NFL standpoint, they still have some doubts about Jalen Hurts, even though they've added more talent. They pretty much have, have let him know that, hey, we are going to add a bunch of pieces around you this season, and you're going to have to show us that you are that franchise quarterback. From a fantasy standpoint, he puts up great stats for us. So from a fantasy standpoint, we're like, it's all good. But from an NFL standpoint, it ain't all good in Philly with Hurts at the quarterback. And I'm hoping that he works on his game throughout this offseason because that's going to make his value in fantasy go up if he can become a little more accurate as a quarterback and get Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown the damn football. But nonetheless, adding Carson Strong is, is not a surprise because of the fact of the um, Eagles organization still having some slight doubts about um, Hurts. They still have Gardner Minshew on the roster. They may trade him, and then you'll have Carson Strong. If nothing else, guys, you can add Carson Strong to your taxi squad. The crazy thing about Carson Strong is he has knee issues, which is probably one of the main reasons why he went undrafted. And then, you know, this quarterback class obviously wasn't the strongest. So he went undrafted. But when you have a quarterback like Hurts and then you go and sign an undrafted quarterback with knee issues, it kind of makes us believe that you may say you're all in on Hurts, but mm, it ain't all good, okay? It ain't all good. And he gonna, somebody going to be hurting at the end of the season if it don't go well, okay? But for fantasy purposes, again, we love what Hurts is able to do for us fantasy-wise. Carson Strong is a quarterback you should definitely add. I watched him go in like late end of fifth rounds and most likely undrafted in dynasty drafts. However, I've watched people pick him up. I even picked him up a few times early on and threw him in my taxi squad. Prior to the draft, I had him as a late, 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 late sleeper, meaning again that um, late fourth, maybe fifth round value for me because the leagues that I am in are, are, are fairly deep. When I watched him go undrafted, I knew that, hey, if I was going to waste a draft pick on him, somebody I just absolutely loved and no longer love had to be on the board, and I still valued Carson Strong. But I knew right off top that um, immediately the Eagles had signed him, so I immediately picked him up <laughs> after the draft. That is what you guys should do. 
pick him up, put him in your taxi squad. If nothing else, if you have hurts, nothing like having your backup. I'm in a super flex league that, you know, the, the best thing about the league is trading. You have to trade to make the league continue to go and to, to build your team. There are players on waivers, but not many players that you're like, Oh, I'm going to have this guy on my roster. So for any hurts owners, you would want Carson strong. And again, nothing wrong with taking a chance on a young quarterback that receives some guarantees and may have an opportunity, if nothing else to back hurts up and you throw him in your taxi squad. Let's talk about Justin Ross sign with the chiefs. I'm so happy this young man was able to sign with someone. And this is a, to me, a great opportunity because obviously we all know the wide receiver position with the chiefs is a little suspect since the Tyree kill trade. I don't care what people say. You can't be hundred percent confident in having MVS um, Harden Hardman who didn't play well last season. He had opportunity to be that other guy aside from uh hill and it just didn't work out um also juju you know hey they're gonna have to uh and they also uh draft this guy more so that was good but taking a chance on ross who you know a lot of people had issues a lot of people had concerns due to medical issues they've cleared him medically he was projected to at least go in the second early third round of your um Dynasty League drafts, so you were able to pick him up off of waivers. This is a great move because if nothing else, if it doesn't work, you just release him and move on. Just do it. I picked him up in my league that I'm the commissioner of, and they laughed at me. And I was, and then he got signed by the Chiefs. I said, okay, who's laughing now? You know. And then I, I told this uh, one of the guys in another league, I'm like, hey, yeah, you know, you need to get rid of this guy off your roster. Go on and add. Ross, because you are kind of getting a little bit older at the wide receiver position. And this is, um, we're going to say high risk, high reward, because you're picking up a player, putting them in a taxi squad, which to me isn't too risky. But again, you're you're uh, utilizing a, um, a roster spot. So that's a little bit risky because you may want to have someone else. But if he ends up working out, this will be the still of the year on waivers, guys. It, it simply will be. Let's talk about Abram Smith, running back, who signed with the Saints. He received some guarantees from the Saints. There's a lot of uncertainty with Alvin Kamara due to his legal issues. We all know that. And then when you look outside of who's behind Kamara, you're like, okay, Ingram, we know what he can do, but he's getting up there in age. He's like, what, 31, 32? I think he's 32. And then you have Jones, who underwhelmed when he um, was given an opportunity, which is part of the reason why Ingram is back in the mix. And then um, obviously Washington, no, it's a no, it's a no, 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 no. So Smith may at least, if nothing else, for the time being say, if Kamara is out for a while, he definitely has the capability and talent to surpass Washington and um, Jones, because again, Jones had his opportunity and didn't, didn't play well. So pick him up and, Camara owners, if you didn't get Ingram, then pick him up, okay? And don't go for Washington and Jones. If you didn't get Ingram and you're a Camara owner, then pick up Smith off of waivers if you haven't already done so. Kennedy Brooks was signed by the Eagles. How many daggone running backs do the Eagles need on their team? And that's including uh, Jalen Hurts when he's in his running back mode as the quarterback. You know, how many damn running backs they got on this team? They got Miles Sanders. They got Wilson Scott. They got, I don't even think um, Howard re-signed yet, but who knows? He may end up re-signing it. And they drafted Kenneth Gainwell last season. I understand the biggest uh, issue for the Eagles at the running back position is injuries. Sanders, he plays very well, but he's always hurt. He's hurt more than damn uh, CMC, okay? It's CMC and Sanders and Barkley, those running three running backs get hurt a lot. With Miles Sanders, when he's out there and he's healthy and he's playing well, it's like, yes. But again, health is wealth. Availability is one of the most important things, and he is unable to sustain health for long periods of time to get you through a season. So that is why you see 
the Eagles have so many running backs. And you're like, okay, we do know when he is healthy, he's going to be the lead back. But again, it's not often. Boston Scott at times last season was a bit shaky. I don't know if he was in the doghouse. Wasn't playing much. But finally, there were a few games where he was all right. And then Jordan Howard came in there. We all thought it was going to be game well. And then Jordan Howard out of nowhere just, boop, played well. So with Kennedy Brooks, the, the inconsistencies behind Miles Sanders and the fact that Miles Sanders is always hurt, this is a great landing spot for him. So if you can pick him up and put him in your taxi squad, do so because other people are going to do it. So I had the opportunity to, um, I had one spot, right? And I had the opportunity to go Smith and then Brooks. And I'm like, well, hell, I got game well already. I'm trying to go in another direction. So I ended up picking up Smith because I honestly feel like Smith has a, uh, more of an opportunity to get on the field immediately over Brooks, but I do love Brooks' upside as well. Let's talk about the new tight end for the New York Giants. Go Big Blue, Daniel Bellinger. I hope I pronounced his name right, but nonetheless, y'all know who I'm talking about. The Giants obviously let Ingram go, okay? And then you sign, we signed Ricky Seals Jones and Jordan Akins, and we know that Akins hasn't played well. He's been all right, but nothing to to make you go, "Woo! I got the next um, Travis Kelce in fantasy, or "Woo! I got the next Dallas Goddard, or "Woo! I got Dorson Knox. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. That ain't him. And then Ricky Seals-Jones played a right at times for Washington football, a.k.a. Washington Commanders last season until he got hurt. Nonetheless, this young man has talent and he can at some point be the starting running back for the Giants. Not saying it's going to happen this season because at the end of the day, we all know with rookie tight ends, there's some growing pains. There's growing pains with rookies in general, but tight end, rookie tight ends specifically growing pains. So you may not see the production early on and hell, you may not see it till later on towards the end of the season or next season. But he is a player that is worth stashing in your taxi squad and holding on and seeing what happens in the future. Again, I always say when you are playing Dynasty, you have to build your roster and you can't just be thinking about today. You're supposed to be looking at the long-term picture for your team. And if you're um, getting older at certain positions, you're going to want to start identifying young, young talent. And he's a very good player to add to your taxi squad at the tight end position just to see what happens because of the tight end position with the Giants. It's very, very weak. So if he can come in there and perform well, it may seem a bit earlier. I don't know, but I'm crossing my fingers because he's a giant. Go big, go big blue. Yes. And Jalen Watermeyer. Yes. Shocking for me that he went unsigned. I actually had him in my top five. Um, tight ends, but he had a horrible combine. He's super athletic and talented, but just didn't have a, a good combine. Didn't think it would be to the level of him going undrafted, but hell, who cares when you get signed by the damn Buffalo Bills and you got that talented Josh Allen throwing you the football, okay? Dawson Knox had a solid season, but I don't see him as the long-term solution at the tight end spot for the Bills. They um, signed O.J. Howard. O.J. Howard is very talented but you know just hasn't done it yet in the nfl it, i don't know if it was the fact that he wasn't involved a lot in tampa I, I don't know but we're gonna see what he's made of this season with the bills that number one offense in that josh allen number one quarterback in fantasy obviously and in my mind number one quarterback in the nfl right now it doesn't hurt my heart to say that i'm a giants fan but Josh Allen is doing the damn thing. And this was a steal out of the undrafted rookies. Not everybody performs well during tests. I don't know about you guys, but hell, if I had to do a type of test, I'd be the bomb that type of test. But then when I ain't got to do a type of test and I'm sitting there typing, I'm like, -doo 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 -doo. I'm typing crazy. But again, not everyone performs well 
when it's time to get out there and, and take this, I know it's like, hey, this is it. This is your career. But again, not everyone is wired like that. And it doesn't mean that he can't be a good addition to the Bills. Now, a lot of times with these undrafted rookies, you got to stick with the roster. You got to make the roster. And, and I do believe the talent is there for him to make that team. And it was a steal for me on waivers because I had a chance to add him. So you need to go do the same. All right, y'all, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you play fantasy football and you are trying to do all your research so you can stay ahead of your competition and ultimately win your league, because that's what we are trying to do. We are in the game of winning. We are trying to win in 2022. Make sure you hit the like button and your notifications are turned on and leave some comments and let me know what undrafted rookies you are considering adding to your team or if you have already added some of these undrafted rookies, which ones have you added? Y'all have a great evening. Peace. Thanks for listening to the Blown Coverage Fantasy Football Podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Blown Coverage Fantasy Football Podcast.